While in the epicenter of the pandemic, New York's governor is not sugarcoating anything. He called today, quote, terrible, as he announced nearly 800 more deaths in the past 24 hours. That's about one every 100 seconds. Yet there is some faint hope inside these heartbreaking numbers. Deaths are hitting a new high in New York, but there is a hopeful sign that the curve is flattening as COVID-19 hospitalizations have leveled off three straight days. That curve is purely a function of what we do day in and day out. If we stop what we are doing, you will see that curve change. On the front lines, the fight to save patients continues every minute of every day at great cost. New York EMS Lieutenant Antonio Quiones just finished working 80 hours in five days, every night sleeping at the station away from his wife and kids. It's the first time I had to do that, to be away from them for so long. My family is my life, so it is uh, extremely difficult to be away from them and then to not know if I'm bringing them uh, exposing them to something. With hospital visitations limited, New York cardiologist Evelina Graver is also acting as an emotional lifeline for families. Here, helping her 84-year-old patient FaceTime his daughter. To tell them the fact that we no longer can provide the critical care that your family member may need. I'm not God, I'm far from God. The longer term projected U.S. death toll is now 60,000 down from 93,000 just a week ago, due in part to the success of social distancing. Today, New York's governor directed flags to be flown at half staff in honor of those who died, including Wendy Hu, a real estate agent from Brooklyn described by friends as brilliant, witty and caring. There are now nearly 430,000 cases in the U.S. New York State alone has more confirmed than every other country. More than 14,000 people have died and officials predict deaths in the U.S. will peak this weekend.